What's up everybody? Your educated grease monkey here. Today we're going to try something a little bit different. We're in a different environment, but still my shop. Still the same old meme. I had to change some stuff around in the shop. Um, I was getting a little claustrophobic in the work area. And uh, to sum it all up, we were all on top of each other. I hated it when we would do videos. You would have a junk car in the back. So I made this little spare room area that I was kind of just using for storage as my office now. So I got my whiteboard behind me. I could teach something if I needed to. I do my TikToks here now. And I have a nice little area designated just for this. I'm able even to put in my certifications and stuff. So this is my spot now. Uh, today's video, we're going to try something a little bit different. Um, normally, I've been doing a lot of automotive news and talking about it. But sometimes what ends up happening is I want to talk about multiple things in one video. And so, you know what? Instead of trying to do one video for everything, I'm just going to pick a few topics and talk about it for the next few minutes, right? 10, 15 minutes or so. Um, so, we're going to talk about some of the things that are going on today so t the day that this video is recorded uh what date i don't even know what date it is it'll say it on my computer because technology today is january 11 2020 and i'm a car and driver and i'm looking at some of the things um that are news right and the first thing is that hummer is coming back as a gmc brand and it's coming back as EV, which is electrical, uh, SUVs and pickup trucks. I'm doing an entire video on this because it deserves it. Um, and that will be coming up soon. Um, so we're not going to touch base on this too much, but I'm psyched for it. I really am. I'm pumped up about it. I think this is genius. Uh, next thing we're going to talk about, the next topic is, this is crazy. The most valuable Ford Mustang ever. I should start by saying that I am a GM guy, which most of you know. I could care less about Ford, so this is hilarious to me. But the Bullet movie uh, Mustang GT that Steve McQueen drove, that thing sold for $3.4 million. $3.4 million. That is just ridiculous to me. I don't understand why anyone would spend $3.4 million on a car, even less a Mustang. I mean, sure, Steve McQueen did a film on it, but it's not like he's going to be driving you around in this thing. Like, come on. And then look, it says here, about 40 years ago, a certain Highland Green 1968 Ford Mustang GT exchanged hands for $3,500. And I think they overpaid. But whatever. Somebody ended up buying it. In an auction. For a cool $3.4 million. Now I'm going to post some pictures of this thing. It looks like a beat up Mustang. It really does. I mean. It's not even that well restored. It does have a 390 cubic inch V8. Which is pretty awesome. But it's been rebuilt. It's got a 4 speed manual transmission. But that is just ridiculous. I honestly don't think that it is worth $3.4 million. I can think of a ton of things I can do with $3.4 million. Buying a Mustang wouldn't even be a part of it. But I digress. That's enough Mustang talk. Let's talk Chevrolet. Apparently, the Chevrolet Corvette Z06 has been caught spied on in a winter testing areas and GM is trying incredibly hard to keep it under wraps they are like putting like extra camouflage and like rags on top of this thing so that you can't really get a feel for how the car looks I have been following this hard because I am a huge fan of the C8 I haven't done a video for the C8 now that I think about it and I should, and I probably will. It deserves one. The Corvette C8 is the baddest thing that GM's done in a long time. Okay, I love that they went risky and hard and made it a mid-engine vehicle. 
I love that they put a dual clutch transmission on it, and that one's bad. Now the Z06 with the dual plane crank style that it makes it sound like a freaking uh not dual plane the flat plane crank um that makes it sound like a freaking ferrari or a lamborghini or a bike that high rpm screaming oh all about it um we all know that it's gonna have a 5.5 liter uh, v8 in it with a with uh twin turbos is what i keep hearing um but there, we don't know how it's gonna look on the outside we assume it's going to be wider because that's what they've done in the past. And it's I could just imagine a C8 Corvette with the wide body. That's going to be sick. I mean, I've seen some like Photoshopped mock-ups that they've done online. Um, I believe it's this uh, some account, Brad Bills or something that I see them on on Instagram all the time. And they look amazing. I've, I've reposted quite a few on Instagram before. I am obsessed with this car. I can't wait for the Corvette. These are some of the things that Car and Driver says they expect the Z06 will come with. Um, oh, wow, look at that. It's naturally aspirated. Okay, so I take it back. It's not going to be twin turbocharged, or at least that's what they say. Uh, the C8 Corvette Z06 will be powered by a naturally aspirated 5.5 liter flat plane crank V8 engine that will rev up to 8,600 RPMs. That is awesome. And develop upward of 600 or more horsepower. That's the gist of it. But now we're getting a bit more information about the upcoming C8 Z06. Or one of the VET's other high performance variants. Because we spied it testing in the snow and some seriously thick fenders. Yeah. I'm going to put these pictures up. You can clearly tell that it's going to have a fat rear end. And I'm all about it. Um, maybe the ZR1 version is going to be the one with the twin turbo. I've definitely read in the past that there's going to be a V8 twin turbo version. And um, I really hope that's not a lie and not just like some rumor. I really hope that that's something they're going to do because that just sounds sick. Uh, the Z06 is definitely going to have the 5.5. Uh, not definitely, but at least that's what they seem to, to really be thinking. Um, I'm pumped up for this car. I'm so pumped up for this car. Like, I can't wait. Um... If it's anything like how the C8R sounds like, and I know you guys have seen that video. If you haven't, you need to, as soon as you finish this video, go click over and hit on that search bar on YouTube and type in C8R uh, exhaust fire up. And you will see what comes up and that thing sounds amazing. All right, let's do one more topic. Um, Subaru. Lavorg STI Sport is the WRX STI wagon we're wishing for. Oh my god, this thing is ugly. Wow. Why would they make this a wagon? All right. So, apparently Subaru made their WRX STI a wagon. And it is ugly. It looks like a minivan. It is hideous. Look at this thing. This is ugly. I mean, it almost looks like a Honda Odyssey from the back. I am not a fan of this at all. At all. But, apparently, it has been something that uh, the Subi people want. And it will be equipped with electronically controlled dampeners. It also has multiple drive modes that adjust the engine steering dampers and all-wheel drive system. Pretty standard stuff. I don't like it. It looks like a Honda Odyssey. It's ugly. Not a fan of that at all. But uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, I don't... Oh, wait, one more. We gotta, we're, I'm not going to leave this video on that sour note with that ugly car. Let's move on. This little thing looks cool. Toyota came out with the GR Yaris. Oh, man, this looks cool. It, apparently, it has 268 horsepower in the Yaris. That is crazy. It's going to be a rally special, all-wheel drive. Ooh, I can see them running down the street now. It's a high-sprung turbo three-cylinder engine. Hmm. There's little that separates this street legal hatch from its rally racing counterpart. What? 268 horsepower out of three cylinders? I got to do this math. I have to do this math. I'm going to do this math. Hold on a second. That's ridiculous. Where's the math? 
Where's that calculator? There it is. 268. 268 horsepower divided by three cylinders equals. That's 90 horsepower per cylinder. That is ridiculous. Turbos are doing crazy things. And it is not a bad looking little thing. It's feisty. That thing's going to be whooping all these little Mini Coopers, all these little Fiat Superchars, whatever. Uh, what is that? The Spider? Is it the Spider? What is that Fiat? It, I don't know. That doesn't matter. Shoot, that's a nice little car, man. What a... I'd say sleeper, but it doesn't really look sleeperish at all. It looks very aggressive. Nice little rally car. I'm all about it. Good job, Toyota. Good job. And, you know, with that said, that's a better note to leave it off of. We're going to go ahead and end this episode here. I like this format a lot better. I could get more news out to you, just give you my opinion on these cars that are coming out. Um, and it's really more to just start a conversation. Let's talk cars, people, okay? Hit me up in the comments. Tell me what you think about these things that we talked about. Uh, do you disagree with me? Let me know. Do you agree with me? Let me know. If you just like the video... Go ahead, like it. If you haven't subscribed, do that. Subscribe. But I appreciate you guys as always. I'll be back next week with another one of these episodes and the more recent topics. Okay? And we'll talk more about those. Um, that's it. That's all I got. Till next time, guys. EGM. Bye.